How important are the weekends when it comes to fitness and nutrition? Well, it's more important than you think. Watch this. Our next caller is Peyton from West Virginia. Peyton, what's happening? How can we help you? Good, good. How are you guys doing? Um, I wrote some some stuff down because I forget easily, so just bear with me. But i um, been listening for about a year or two. Really big fan. Obviously, I love you guys talking about nutrition and lifting. But um, I really like when you guys talk about your personal family lives. It just like listening to you guys talk about families and stuff just makes me want to be a dad and everything right now. And I'm at like 23 years old. So, <laughs> awesome. but um, Sweet, some background on me, um, 23 years old, obviously six feet tall, currently 108 pounds. I'm assuming I'm around probably right around 10, 10 body fat. I haven't officially like got it measured, but been lifting for years now, uh, just because from sports from high school and everything, but around COVID, I really started taking the nutritional and supplemental side pretty seriously. So, and then I lost a bunch of weight. I was at about like probably like 185 to 190, got down to like 160 pounds. And I thought I was in really good shape. I was like super skinny, super lean. But then looking back on now, I'm like, dude, I was like a, a straight skeleton. So, um, start last fall, I started, I bulked up, started actually taking creatine then, and then got up to, um, right around February, I got up to about 208 pounds. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, I know. Um, pretty intense. I probably put on a little bit more fat than I wanted to. I was still kind of lean. I was pretty good still with my diet, but then I cut back down and I'm 180 pounds. Um, at the end of June, on June 30th, I was 180 pounds. So I'm in the best shape of my life. Obviously, I don't think so. Um, I body dysmorphia still kicks in and everything, but I just want to start, uh, talk about like kind of like the mental side of, uh, fitness and nutrition. So when I first started bulking up and I'm putting on size and muscle and everything, um, I was really pushing myself hard, training till failure, uh, drop sets, super sets a lot. Um, just every single lift, I just wanted to feel that burn because I just loved absolutely feeling that. So um, I've been listening to you guys talk about how this probably isn't the most efficient, pushing till failure on every single set. So I just wanted to see what like the first step is to n- realizing that that's not the answer. And then like, or if there's like a way to push till failure without like overtraining and everything. So yeah. that's kind of like the main question about the fitness part. Pey- Peyton, you're a moose. Yeah, you, yeah. Whatever link you sent us, I think those are the pictures of when you bulked up. Uh, you, would you play yes. football? Did you play football in high school? I did not play football. I played into my freshman and then I played basketball, baseball, and then I actually ran cross country. So, okay. Yeah, dude. You yeah. got, you got, you were lean. At yeah. 208. I would say the mm-hmm. body fat you think you put on that was too much is not too much. No, I think you're uh, doing fine, bro. And, and the fact that you got that big at your age, uh, going to failure with drop sets and all that shit, you got good genetics. Yeah. Uh, cause that is yeah. too much. That is too that's much intensity. How do you move away from okay. that? Okay. So that's a challenge and that's a, that's a continual challenge as you stay yeah. on this path and on this journey. The best, the best metric to measure, not perfect, but the best one to measure is our objective metrics. The mirror okay. is never objective. The mirror always is subjective. So yes. you could try to make it as objective as you want, but it's a kind of a tough one. Um, but, but, Objective measure would be like your strength. Follow Maps Powerlift, bro. Yeah, Maps Powerlift, Maps Anabolic. Maps Powerlift would be great for him because he's measuring that, right? Yeah. You're, what you're tracking that. The whole point of that is designed okay. for you to get stronger and and then going yeah. and then going to bulk. Yeah, feed your so go back on the bulk. Um, yeah, and fall. so those pictures I actually sent you guys. That was probably when I was leaning out on my cut. I didn't show you pictures what my full bulk was, but okay. I was still kind of. I was that lean, but the right, those pictures I just sent you guys, that was full cut now, obviously not before I was, when I was skinny slash lean. So okay. yeah, I think you look better filled out for sure. I mean, you, you, okay. you, you yeah. still look, you look plenty lean in the healthy. Think, yeah. Yeah. No, you look, you look okay. good, bro. Yeah. I mean, okay. here's, here's the thing too, right? So, and you got great results and you were training to failure. Like, I mean, this is, yeah. you're, you're literally, uh, talking about what all of us did. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were the same thing in our early twenties. <laughs> train the same way. And, and here's the thing, and you've probably heard us say this because you've been listening to the show for a long time is that you, you think that the more you put into it, the harder you go, the more the results are going to be, because that is like how almost everything else in life works. It, it's not, yes, it's, that's exactly, it, yeah. it's, it's not that way with physiology. It's not that way with nutrition and yeah. training. It's not, it's not the harder you go, the more you do, the more results, the better you're going to be. It's, there is a very, yeah. there's a sweet spot and that's unique to everybody. 
So, you know, even though we're giving you advice here, you know, it's going to be different from per each person. Yeah. You've got to kind of figure that out. A great, a great test of this is to be true to a whole program. I would tell you, all right, Peyton, just trust okay. the process, follow one of these programs and never go to failure. Watch what happens in three okay. months. You know, do not yeah. always stop two with two in the tank. Always allow yourself. It doesn't mean you're not trying to add weight to the bar. Every time you go back to the gym the next day and you're, or the next time you're hitting chest, it's like, okay, last week I was doing this. Let's try and increase by a couple pounds and see if I can do that. Yeah. But get, get rid of the failure. Get rid of the, I need my buddy to come over and spot me for the last rep or two and train through a whole program that way and watch what happens. You'll be surprised. Okay. Yeah. All for, right. For sure. I think All right. Awesome. You're, you're going to crush if you do that. Your, your, your body's going to respond. If you responded as well as you already have at your age yeah. with what you were doing, you're going to respond yeah. really, really well. Um, and I, I like, I mean, I like focusing on strength cause it's hard to overdo it, underdo it, you know, and, and mess up on strength. Yeah. And, and with nutrition, you don't, and I read up here, I'm reading in your comment here that when you were bulking, you were eating until you felt sick to your stomach. You don't need to do that. You really don't need to do that <laughs> in order to see progress. Yeah. Um, and then back, you know, and back to what Adam was saying about hard, redefine hard. Everybody thinks hard means grueling. Hard just means challenging. Yeah. And oftentimes, yeah. oftentimes, especially with someone who has a hard work mentality, harder for that person means smarter yeah. because they just want to go, yeah. they just want to make it grueling. So it's not necessarily harder in the sense that it hurts more. It's hard in the sense that it's more challenging for you to do it in a smart way. So if you redefine it that way, it'll help you. Yeah. Sometimes you need to okay. throttle the intensity and you need to, you know, get after it. Sometimes you need to just focus and throttle more on the discipline of actually doing what's right for your body in order to get results. So, you know, it that's just yeah. like a totally different mentality. And this is too, you're you're sort of the example of like if somebody were to ask us in hindsight, like how we would go back to a totally. twenty year year old self, what we would tell ourselves. Like you have that opportunity yeah. right now to shift and, and completely do things in a way that's beneficial. Yeah, earlier than we did, right? Way yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah. So yeah, it took so me you're, yeah, you're sense. in a great spot, dude. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. All right. And then just one last question again, kind of with the mental side, but this is more with the nutrition and it has to do with uh, cheat days. So I'm very consistent in like my diet throughout the week, like getting like 200, 250 grams of protein a day, enough fat. Um, and then if I need to cut weight, calorie deficit, uh, calorie surplus for bulk. But then when the weekend hits, it's like a completely different story. Um, I'm still young and I'm usually consuming alcohol. And then even when I go on vacation, that's whenever I'm like away from my diet the whole time. I just want to know how much like alcohol, like a couple of beers on the weekend is affecting that or you're, anything. You're overthinking it. Yeah. Peyton, you're okay. overthinking it, bro. Listen, okay. listen, when you're in your forties, you're not going to look back and be like, man, I shouldn't, I should not have enjoyed <laughs> should myself. should be so straight. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. don't go binge drinking. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> yeah, don't, right. Don't do dumb stuff. Yeah. Like don't do stupid yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but I think you, you look like you got a good head on your shoulders. But yeah, man, okay. you know, okay. On the weekends, you, you just enjoy yourself, hang out with your friends. It becomes about the connection. Yeah. If it becomes about the alcohol, well, now you're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you're out okay, hanging out, sense. yeah, you're enjoying yourself. Like, no, that don't trade that for being perfect with your, it's a stupid trade. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're not going to get yeah. much out of it. I, I will add this though. Yeah. Don't, don't let it be like this. Cause this was also me in my twenties where I was dialed Monday through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, I had the complete fuck it attitude mm. because I could, because I can, you'll make so uh -huh. you'll make so much more progress if you still try and follow some of your rules on the weekend instead of just completely going, oh, I'm not tracking today. Yeah. I'm drinking beer. I'm doing everything. Something that yeah. worked really, something that worked really well for me that might work for you, which is like, instead of telling myself I can't have the beer, I can't have the fast food or can't do these things. It's like, I'm going to at least hit my protein and take in my, and get my training in. Yep. So it's yep. like, I'm going to, I'm going to get my lift in and I'm going to hit my protein intake. And then after that, if I'm out with the boys at nine and yeah. we're, we're going out drinking or we're going to go have a restaurant, I'm going to have the chips and dip. Like I'm going to enjoy myself. But I, th those two, yeah. those two like rules for myself for the weekend of getting my lift in and then hitting my protein intake and then the rest, whatever Yeah, that will keep you on pace. Cause you'll be surprised how much, uh, two days, if you kind of just have the, uh, extreme on off attitude, how that could really stall yeah. your, your progress because you go so extreme okay. one or the other. So yeah. at least have a, a good foundation, but to Sal's point, yeah. you know, you're not, you're, you're young. This is a time to enjoy life a little bit too. So you don't need to be you know, anal about not having a beer with your buddies when you guys are having a good time. Peyton, yeah. how, how old are you, Peyton? I'm 23. Hey, are you going to school or are you working? 
I just graduated. I just got my master's in software engineering. So I'm just, fi- I just finished. Oh, uh, so you got, I know the case. Yeah. I, I, I could smell your mentality. You're, you're very, very focused <laughs> and disciplined. That's great. Yeah. That's great, man. Yep. So, Thank so you. if I was talking to a typical 23 year old, I'd be like, get your shit together on the weekend, whatever. But you don't, <laughs> you don't come across as like some 23 year old kid that's fucking off. So just enjoy your weekends, bro. Cause you're going to be you. too uptight if, if, if you don't, you know, if you don't do that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty good. Like, um, like you said on, I'm good on the weekends of, of, um, of like tracking protein stuff like that. But again, the alcohol, but then the difference is when I go on vacation, it's like, it's all out. Like I'm going there to consume as much food as I can. And I know if you guys have talked about this, like don't eat so quickly and stuff like that. Yeah. And so that is like, that is one thing that I need to work on. Actually the last vacation would helped me. I don't know. This is weird, but I started just, eating like sunflower seeds because it just kept my hands moving and my mouth moving to like, just not like eat so much food. And when I'm on vacation, Bro, so I, that was I, another thing. I love that. That's a nice hat. Yeah. I, but I, I'm going to tell you, yeah, I, it was I, weird. It was so weird. I think I know what the problem is though. You're, you're too regimented, too strict on the week. And so the weekend becomes yes. a release. That's what I was saying. That's yeah. the point I was alluding to. Yeah. I was yes. the same way in my twenties. I was dialed Monday through Friday Saturday and yep. Sunday, I had the complete yeah, opposite yeah. attitude of oh, yeah. but the belt comes on. Th- this was also a big, uh, you know, plateau breaker for me. There, I was stuck in this rut for a long time, yeah. and even as a trainer, I couldn't f- quite figure out why am I why am I not able to get more shredded or look like this. And then this was this was way before all these great tools that we have now, like the Aura rings, and the, we had we didn't have that, so I could track. Once those tools came yeah. out, I saw what was happening. It was like I was just totally over consuming bad calories, not hitting my protein intake, not training on the weekends. That was enough to stall my progress because, and I was still fit. I was still in good shape. I was a trainer, right? So to the average yeah, person, yeah, yeah. but I was trying to get to the next level. I couldn't get to the next level because I was so on off. And so that was why my advice yeah. to you is just, just don't go off the rails and okay. ha- have a couple small rules. I love the eating sunflower seeds so you're not snacking on some other and maybe loosen yeah. up, maybe loosen up during the week a little bit so it doesn't feel like you have to completely disconnect. That makes sense. You know, every weekend just to come back to sanity because if your week is so regimented and stressful, that Saturday and Sunday yeah. come around that you feel like you need to let go. That's that's a yeah. sign that the week may be a little too regimented or too whatever, too stressed. So either mindset needs to change or some of the things that you're okay. doing during the week need to, need to change a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, Peyton, do you yeah, have, that that's all I had. But thank you so much, Peyton. We're gonna send you mass power lift. Do you have an Instagram? Okay, yeah, I do. Yeah, are you dating anybody? Or are you single? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm single. I'm single. So we're, hey, we're gonna so, help. We're gonna help yeah. you out right now. What's your Instagram? Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna get you laid. Yeah. Uh, it's it's PK. <laughs> All right, it's PK underscore fitness underscore nutrition. Yeah, we got a six foot tall mm. software engineer. He's a hot everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got too much discipline. Right, Check it out, yeah, ladies. Yeah, yeah. We got you. Hey, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> look okay, out, look out. You got it. Yeah. Thanks for calling in, man. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks. you. Right, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Good yes. kid. Yeah, good yeah. kid. At that age, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm telling him to loosen up. Yeah. <laughs> Most 23 year olds get gonna... flooded with DMs. Yeah, yeah you know, get out. your ass together. You know? yeah. Get your shit together. I mean, he's built a lot like how I was built. And I and I do remember um, that was the, the. Bro, he was jacked in that picture. Yeah, well, for yeah, sure. He looked, no, he looked great when he was bulking, right? Yeah, when, he was yeah, putting, yeah. when he was putting calories in and stuff of that. But I, I mean, of course, you always want more, right? So as a kid, yeah, you're like, yeah. you know, I, I could get more, I could do more. And like, the weekends were, you've heard me talk about it, like winning the weekends became like a huge like, totally. change yeah. for me. Totally. And to your point about allowing that free, so my idea was like, okay, when I shifted away from the pizza, beer, drinking, all the crazy stuff on Saturday Sunday and said, okay, I'm going to win Saturday and Sunday. And then if I still want pizza, beer, and those things, I'm just going to have it Monday through Friday. So mm-hmm. I actually have more days that I could have it if I wanted it. What I found was when I'm working, when I'm in my routine, I, I craved it less. I didn't want it as much. And then if I felt like I was deprived because I was winning the weekend and I was being so good on the weekend, I would then allow myself on Tuesday night to yeah, go have it. was a great analogy I came up with. It was like about being jet lagged over the weekend and, uh, you know. Wasn't that yours? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good one, though. You're doing you the handoff? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Basically, start trying to make up sleep by going to bed late on Friday. Yeah. Monday comes around, you're jet lagged. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, that's a calm. By the way, for, forget the, the kid we just talked to. A lot of people are like that when they go on vacation or they look at like a break because their life is so yeah. Ugh, unmanageable yeah, right. in terms of regimen and stress. So they go off the rails. They go like crazy, you know, and it becomes less about enjoying yourself and more about releasing the fact that you felt so confined. 
So it's like a mindset shift, and maybe some of the some of the structure needs to shift. A He's little gonna bit. crush it, dude. Yeah. 